Uh, you mentioned your book about Buddy Holly, uh, <laughs> and I wanted to make sure I asked you, and, you, and I know that, uh, what's the, oh, I, what was the previous book that has a character named Peggy Sue? Uh, so I assume oh, yes. uh, that, you, that that maybe is a reference to, to Buddy yes. Holly? Yes. What is your uh, relationship to Buddy Holly, and why did you want to write a picture book about him? Um, well, I was an, uh, a Beatles fan growing up. They were my musicians. Um, and then I, I had heard some of Buddy Holly's music, but I didn't realize that the Beatles actually chose their name um, because of the crickets. Um, so I uh, happened to be have a, a job in that took me to Lubbock. Um, like every month for a year. And I started nosing around up there um, after hours and uh, visited all of the Buddy Holly related sites that um, I could find. And I, and at that point I was writing, I was trying to write picture books. I was trying easy readers. Um, I was just all over the map with my writing and I thought, oh, you know, it might be kind of cool to try a um, picture book biography. Who, who might I write about? And it was like, oh, I know Buddy Holly. I know a little bit about him. I'd like to know more. Um, I love his music. And um, though he has a tragic end, um, he has a very hopeful story. <laughs> What's uh, here? Here's a question to divide our uh, our audience. What's your favorite Buddy Holly song? Um, well, I think it's got to be Peggy Sue. <laughs> I mean, you'd be crazy to pick anything else, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, there's uh, so many things that, that I could ask you and I won't. I'm going to restrain myself. But there was something you said that I think is maybe a good note for us to end on, I hope. Um, because you, and I'm going to get this exact because I'm going to quote you, because you've written elsewhere that in spite of my never, never, never give up stance, those dare I think I may quit moments came twice. Both times, my next efforts resulted in publication. Uh, so as, as much as you're comfortable, obviously, I'm talking to you now. I'm holding Blue Skies in my hand. Mm -hmm. Rad's going to be available uh, to live on bookshelves forever. Uh, so we know how the story ends. It's a happy ending. Mm -hmm. uh, but during those times where you were thinking of quitting, what brought you back? Um, I think what brought me back was the... I don't want to quit while I'm down. <laughs> um, that if I tried, you know, one more time and it didn't work, well, okay. I gave it, you know, absolutely 100% and more. But to stop when I was discouraged just didn't, for me, ring true. You know, I, I just had to try one more time. And if there was, aside from that, if there was anything you could go back and tell yourself at the start of your writing journey that would maybe have made that journey easier for you and mm -hmm. that authors listening to could maybe benefit from, from implementing, what would you go back and what, what advice would you give a younger version of yourself? Um, I would say breathe. <laughs> That's really important. <laughs> <It's essential. laughs> you know, and, and, and know that, um, you know, it's a journey. Now, I obviously, from what I said a while ago about, well, I wrote the story, I sent it to an editor, and then I just sat around and waited because I thought, oh, well, she's going to love it. She'll buy it, and then we'll go on from there. No, um, <laughs> I mean, maybe that's happened to someone. That would be awesome if it had <clears throat> or will. Um, Not to someone. I've been there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... No, it's, it's um, not only is writing a book a journey and a process, but the writing life is that, you know, as well. And there are going to be ups and downs and highs and lows and everything in between. And, um, yeah, just keep going. And, um, and I would say keep dreaming.